Hello guys, what is up? This is Christian from Extreme Boomers coming back at you for another Boom Beach Task Force video. I'm loving these Task Force video guys. I'm just loving them. I hope you are too. But yeah, um, we just took down another Task Force. Pretty, It was a pretty awesome Task Force. So far, it's the best one we've had so far. Um, I'm actually recording this on the same day I recorded my other Task Force video. As you can see guys, we took this base down in 45 minutes. And... Wait till I show you my attacks, okay? Um, so first, so, this is awesome. Look at this, guys. Three attacks took down three bases. Perfect. So, let's go over them. It's going to be a shorter video today, but, yeah. Um, behind this is, I wanted to, I wanted to, um, oh, wow. This is a lot bigger on this map. I wanted to do, uh, keep attacking, keep doing um, these these, these task force, these operations, because we're trying to keep on the leaderboard, and we can't save up for 400 intel because of the new update that came out. Now, um, a quick update for you from that, um, Tim from the Supercell staff, he said that he was going to talk to the team about it, so I'm hoping so much that he'll change it, because the problem is, we can't get intel, so we can't do operations that are big, so what's the point of having a task force, and if you can't attack, what's the point of playing Boom Beat, so I think it's kind of stupid, but I'm still going to play it, I love this game, but yeah, so first Jimmy attacks, so he attacks Atlas, and he attacked it with all warriors, and I just had deja vu. Like, literally, like, when I was recording this. So, yeah. He places a smoke down first, to, just to keep them hidden from the shock launchers. And then he flares directly to the HQ. Now, we're still kind of new with smoke, but... So, he doesn't smoke during the HQ, but look at that, guys. He just... He's, he's shocking everything. And I'm actually kind of surprised that he did beat this base. Because if you look at it, he got, he got, pretty, he got pretty lucky, I would say. So, yes, he takes down Atlas. Now, this one was the lowest... This one was the lowest map out there. Um, it is level 50, so not bad, not bad at all. Now, Cargo was attacked by Grove, and he's another one of our good members. And he actually has higher level, higher level troops than me. So this is level 53 Grove, and let's uh, let's watch this battle. I mean, level 60. Oh my gosh, I just said Grove. Oh yes, it's Cargo, level 53 Cargo. So yes, first things first, he's taken down this rocket launcher, which is smart, which is very smart. Um, he's trying to take down the mortars, take down the mortars, good. And then he's going to place his troops down here, and I'm going to slow it up, because eh, we have time, we have time today. Yeah, so his heavies are moving into these uh, power cells, and he's going to grab all this extra, in all this extra gumbo energy. And, which is a lot, and you'll see how I did it on my attack, but I actually used the same strategy. So yes, guys, he's going around. I'm actually kind of surprised he took this down with one try. I mean, it probably, uh, I probably could have did it, but it's also that he did it. So yeah, he's taking this base down, and it's going down pretty fast. He's taking down all these power cells, and yeah, and these uh, boom cannons actually don't one-shot these uh, heavies, which is awesome. And, see, these are level 15 heavy, so they're pretty high. So, yeah. He has some medics running in behind. And what level are his boats? Yeah, kind of like mine. Um, yeah, so he's basically just taking down these power cells, and there's nothing else up here. So, he's going to go straight into the battle. Now, the shock launcher is going to be kind of a pain to deal with. And it's going to kick in now. Yep, so it kicks in, and these boom cannons are tearing apart his heavies. And luckily, it did the shock bomb. The shock launcher didn't shock his Zuka, so he would have been a goner. So yes, they're taking down the boom cannons. He shocked them. The shock wears out. He took them down, so it didn't fire again. Okay, so these mortars are also going to be deadly. Um, luckily, the mortars could still see the the heavy it's when because they're not close into the range. So yeah, guys, they're moving into the base, and from here, I was I was watching it live, and I was thinking to myself, you know what? I doubt this guy will be able to take it on because the whole left side is heavies are dying. So his mortar on the left, his mortars are gonna kill his troops, and then he goes and sh um, flares them to the middle, the HQ. So I was actually like freaking out, like I probably wouldn't have did that. But then he regroups his troops, so if his boom cannons weren't aren't going to be able to hit him again. Um, so those boom cannons aren't going to be able to hit him, which means the, the mortars for now are going to be focused on focused on his heavies. His heavies are about to go down. They're getting low on health. One of his heavies go down. The other heavies about to go down. He luckily, he has those medics, or else he would have been dead. And he's just so lucky that those heavies stayed alive. If those heavies didn't stay alive, um, the Zookas would have been dead in no time. So yes, there's some mortar takes down this one heavy. And guys... 
this is when it starts getting deadly, okay? Um, so this rocket launcher just tearing apart his troops, and if that medic wasn't there, guys, he would have lost all his troops. Um, he's lucky. He's so lucky he got this down. So lucky he got this down, but then he got it. Um, I, he probably could have did a little better. I mean, it's kind of sloppy in my opinion. I mean, I could have did it a little better, but I'm just... He still took it down, so that's all that counts. So now, this is the one, this is the only one that matters, guys. I have level 14 heavies and level 10 Zookas, and I actually had my statues beefed because I was taking down like four bases and I, I couldn't take them down so I beefed up my statues so I, I quickly wanted to attack I quickly wanted to attack this base so I wouldn't need to I quickly so I wouldn't need to I would have an extra boost okay so I used I didn't use any medics I don't see a point of medics using with this strategy um, in Ruka strategy you'd want to bring medics but in this strategy you don't want to Okay, so my heavies, I, I deployed them over here on the right side of the beach to take down all this extra power, all these extra power cells. So I'm going to speed it up a little, a little. My heavies are just, I regrouped them down here and, let's zoom in a little. I regrouped them down here so that they wouldn't die by these sniper towers up here. So then I flayed them all the way up here and I'll do two times two speed. I start taking down all these power cells and this is these uh, sniper towers are actually getting pretty deadly for me and oh guys and also down here I was trying to take down that rocket launcher uh, shock launcher I just got it done and I had like a hundred and thirty um, energy after I got these power cells so pretty pretty awesome guys pretty awesome so I just moved my heavies in and now we need to zoom out a little uh, so I moved my heavies in heavies are going in my zookas are going in my hookah strategy is just going in and uh, these mortars kind of a pain to get down, but I finally got them down because if they miss shot once, they could take down all Yuzuka. So you definitely need to be aware of those. But first, focus on the dragon launchers and the shock launchers. So yes, I just took down all the sniper towers. So as of here, I was getting pretty low on energy, guys. Pretty low on energy. It took a lot to take down the mortars and the shock launcher, but I finally. I, uh, I used a shock, and the shock's about to wear off, and it's going to take down a lot of my troops. But my Zookas are just going ham on this base. Um, we wanted to do a, a bigger base than the last one, but we just, we needed it to keep our, we need to keep pushing on the leaderboard, so we didn't have enough um, intel for another one. And it actually took us an hour to get four intel, so pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, yeah, so my uh, heavies are just going in, and then I... Um, face here. I wish there was a pause, but my face here had two options. I could just go in and get attacked by all these extra stuff, or I could flare. So I ended up flaring, and that mine could have been pretty deadly for me. However, it didn't get too many of my troops. So I only lost five, um, five zookas from that mine. And from here, I'm just onto VHQ that, uh, boom cannon is taking down my troops, and I got it. So yes, guys, overall, an awesome, awesome attack. Three attacks, got them three bases. Pretty awesome. 150 task force points, and let's do the leaderboard. We are actually on the leaderboard at the moment. Um, we are 47th, and if you look at these guys, these guys are all way better than us guys, so we're actually pretty blessed to be on this leaderboard. Um, we are pretty low. Um, just, just overall pretty low. Yeah, so it's going pretty awesome guys pretty awesome i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like we always appreciate it if you are new be sure to subscribe and let me know if you like these task force videos because i enjoy making them please subscribe if you guys enjoyed see you guys next time bye